Hello you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Grace if you're new here and I film a lot of vlogs for you guys and a lot of college content and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed this video then I hope you stick around but I'm going to be taking you guys along with me for kind of my night tonight. I'm going to be filming a fall night routine. It's a super cozy fall day today. It's like 65 degrees and it's been raining on and off so I thought it'd be fun if I took you guys along on what I do on a typical fall night in college. I feel like my nights are definitely the time that I take to relax and kind of do nothing honestly. I find that I'm super busy during the day from the morning until around four-ish and then after I eat dinner and stuff I just want to wind down and get ready for bed. So I'm going to be kind of showing you guys how I wind down and what that kind of looks like for me on a typical weekday night. It's currently Wednesday so this is a typical weekday night routine in my life it's a wednesday night so this would be a typical night routine on a weeknight where i have a lot of homework usually and i'm just doing stuff for school and youtube so so yeah i've been sitting at a coffee shop all day today from probably noon till right now it's almost four o'clock and i'm gonna go run a few errands i need to go to target and i really want to go to h&m and Sun only to look at their Brandy Melville stuff because I've been seeing so much about Brandy Melville and I forget how much I love their clothes. So I'm hoping that I can find a few fall pieces from there. The Sun here usually doesn't have that much Brandy Melville, but I just wanted to go and see and it's in the same spot that the H&M is in. So I'll just hop on over there after I look at H&M because I love H&M for fall basics. I just feel like they have the best affordable sweaters and stuff like that, more heavy duty that I feel like would be really expensive expensive somewhere else so I'm gonna go look at H&M as well to find some sweaters and just some more comfy things to walk to class in because I feel like I don't have enough because it gets so 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 cold here and walking to class can be brutal so I want to get a ton of like fleeces and sweaters and stuff like that so Target is actually right next to the mall here so I'm just gonna go on over to those stores after I go to Target and then I also have to go to Walgreens to pick up a few pictures because I have another friend at shop party coming up and I have to make her page for her book and all that fun stuff so I'm gonna finish my coffee too I just got an iced blonde vanilla latte with oat milk my go-to order it is so 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 good and, and I'm so happy that I discovered oat milk and that I like it so much because I used to never actually like the taste of coffee because I feel like it was always too strong for me but the oat milk mixed with the coffee makes it just 10 times better than any other milk I used to get almond milk because I thought it was the healthiest but I honestly don't care anymore it's just coffee so if I'm gonna pay for it then I want to actually enjoy it and this is how I like it so you guys should try this order if you are looking for a new Starbucks order I've also been getting a pump of pumpkin sauce sometimes if I'm feeling more in the mood for fall but I also like it just like this so and you can add more or less of whatever you want it comes with four pumps of vanilla I think but if you don't like the sweetness as much then you can do like two or something and I think it comes with three shots of espresso maybe four but I always just do the normal order and I think it tastes fine so you guys have to try this if you're into more sweet coffee and if you're looking for a new order okay I'm just gonna move you guys further away so you can actually see me a bit better but I'm just gonna run to those three places and come home probably make dinner shower wind down all of that fun stuff and I'm gonna take you guys with me so I just wanted to intro this video say hello and make sure you guys subscribe if you're new here and let's just get into the video the leaves are also finally changing which makes me so so happy it's so dark outside I don't know why I also just have on a little Aritzia romper and in my ultra mini Uggs that's the outfit for today okay, I'm about to run into the mall right now I just got here I'm gonna go into H&M first and see what they have I hope that they have the stuff that I've been seeing on TikTok, I feel like my H&M here is just not as good as other H&Ms and they're always out of the good stuff. So I'm just hoping that they have at least some sweaters or little pullovers that I can wear to class. And, and then I'm going to go into PacSun and look at the brandy section and hopefully they have some cute brandy pieces as well because, because I really want to add a few items to my fall wardrobe. So we'll just see what they have. I'll obviously show you guys everything and let's just go in wait guys i love this i don't know if i want i might come back and get this it's like 60 which is not a bad price so i might come back Okay, I 
just got out of the mall. I really don't feel like going into Target, but it's right here and I should just go in. I actually really need to get a new workout mat though because mine is disgusting and it has holes in it and I just need a new one. So I'm going to make myself go in and I don't think I'm going to get everything on my list because I think I'm going home this weekend anyway. So there's really no need to get a ton of food, but I'll probably just get a few things and hopefully a workout mat. But I can already tell it's a zoo in there. There are so many people. I had to park so far away because there's no spots and I feel like it's going to be crazy busy in there which is annoying, but the mall was kind of successful. I got two things. I think I was kind of overwhelmed in H&M and that's why I didn't get anything. I couldn't really look that hard because I also had a piece so bad. So I feel like I wasn't paying my full attention to the store, but, but again, like I was saying, the stuff on TikTok that I've been seeing that I want, they don't have in the store. Like I was looking everywhere and I was about to go up and ask someone if they had any of the stuff, but I had a piece, so I left. And then I just went into Pakistan and got that sweater, so. I'm sure I'll be back here though eventually. They did have a ton of cute stuff. They had this green jacket that was kind of a puffer material um, that I maybe will come back and get. I think it's more for colder weather though. It's not cold enough to be wearing a coat or jacket like that. But it was really cute and high quality for the price. So I'll probably go back and get that eventually, maybe further into the fall, but we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna go take on Target right now and get this over with. It's gonna be freaking crazy and stressful in there, but I'm already here, so I might as well go in. <laughs> I love this blanket, it's so, so cute. But it's $80, so we'll be getting that. Okay, I just ate dinner and I want to show you guys what I ended up getting from Paxson. So, so at my Paxson, they have a little Bernie Melville section. It's not big at all, like I usually can't find anything that I like, but they had this cute little sweater. It's kind of dark, so I'm sorry if you guys can't see all the way, but I'm sure I'll be wearing this in a ton of my vlogs. Um, but I walked in and saw this little sweater, and you guys know how I feel about green. Like it is my favorite color, and it's green and navy blue stripes. I feel like this is one of Brandon Melville's like classic sweaters, so I thought it'd be cute to wear this fall either with leggings or jeans, and I just love a good sweater. So I got this, and it was really affordable. It was 40 bucks for like a good, durable sweater, so I feel like that wasn't bad. And then I've been needing a new black purse for when I go out because mine's disgusting. I've had it from Zara for like two years now, and I needed a different purse than my Louis Vuitton one because I refuse to bring that one out. So I got this black one from Brandy and I think it's really cute. It honestly looks like the YSL one, which is my dream bag. I want that for graduation, but I liked this one. I thought it would be a good staple bag for the fall and winter. And I wear a lot of neutral clothes, so I always like to have a black bag. So yeah, those are the only two things I got. Like I said, H&M was kind of a bust. There wasn't really much that I was looking for there, but, but I love this sweater and I kind of went in wanting at least one or two sweaters that I can wear to class and just have for the fall and winter. So I'm actually going to New York City this November. That was the trip that I was actually talking about in two videos ago, I think I, I mentioned it. That is the place that I'm going is New York City. You guys know it is my favorite city in the world and honestly my favorite place to go ever. I pick New York City over the beach any day and so I'm so excited to go. Me and my mom are going on a little girls trip and we're going to do a ton of little cute fall things and the weather will be beautiful and I'm just really excited. When I go there, I'll obviously be able to shop more for fall and winter clothes because their selection of stores is much better than Missouri, but yeah, I'm really excited for that trip. I'm obviously gonna take you guys along, and yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the two things that I got. This purse was also pretty affordable for a good, durable black bag. It is like so durable, like there's no way this is getting damaged at all. Cute, cute, I'm excited to wear these. <laughs> Okay, I just got out of the shower and I wanted to show you guys the products that I've been using in the shower recently. I did a whole, like, the shower and shaved, did a hair mask, all that stuff. So I wanted to show you guys. I recently got this Owie or Way, I'm not sure how you pronounce this brand, but I got one of their hair masks at Sephora and I've probably used it like five times now and I really like it. I feel like it leaves my hair very soft and smooth and just overall thicker because I naturally have pretty thin hair. It's gotten longer 
longer and a little bit thicker throughout the years but I still would like to make it even more long and thick so I really like this mask and I'll link it down below for you guys I think it's on my Amazon storefront already and you can obviously get it at Sephora and all those places, but I usually aim to use a hair mask one to two times a week if I can, and I let it sit for like 10 minutes, and I feel like I can really see a change in my hair after I use them, and yeah, I highly recommend this mask if you're looking for a new one, and, and then for body wash, I've been using the Necessaire body wash and the eucalyptus scent, and I really like this scent. It's very just fresh and subtle and I find that the more scented the body wash the more that my body kind of reacts to it. Ever since I was little like the Bath and Body Works body washes would always make my skin itchy and kind of break out but this one is very simple and I really like the way that it smells. It's just so fresh and elegant. So I've been really liking this. It's on my Amazon storefront and you guys can go shop that right now if you're looking for a new body wash and so yeah this is the body wash I've been using. I'm wanting to get their lotion and body serum that I've been seeing so much about. People have been raving about those two products for like your body leaving it really moisturized and stuff. So I may get those two products soon. I really like this brand. I just feel like all of their products are so simple and they are really good for the body. So. so for shampoo and conditioner, if you guys are blonde and you get your hair colored, you need to listen up right now because this is the best shampoo and conditioner for color treated hair, specifically blondes. I just find that it helps hold my color for as long as possible. I got my hair done probably eight-ish weeks ago and I have an appointment coming up this next week and I don't even need to get my hair done yet. I'm going to go to my appointment obviously just so I can stay on track, but this shampoo and conditioner has kept my color, kept my blonde so, so so well this past week and but the shampoo and conditioner has kept up my blonde so good unlike any shampoo and conditioner I've tried I promise but I swear I've tried every single kind of shampoo and conditioner for blondes the expensive ones the affordable ones whatever it may be and and I have found that this is the best it's the Redken Extreme shampoo and conditioner and, and this is the one that says three percent I know that at the store I was kind of confused um, but one is for brown colored hair and one's for blonde, so just make sure you get the blonde. But I could not recommend the shampoo and conditioner enough, especially if you're a blonde and you get your hair done a lot. I would definitely recommend getting a shampoo and conditioner that has a lot of protein and kind of helps with that because not every shampoo and conditioner is the same, obviously, and you should definitely be buying ones that are helping with your hair because... Obviously coloring our hair makes it kind of more damaged. Okay, I just showered and lotioned all up with, you guys already know what lotion I use. Um, I just took a body shower, so that's why my hair is not wet, but I just used the Bum Bum Cream. You guys already know this is my absolute favorite moisturizer for the body. I have been using this for probably two years now and it makes my skin the softest out of any lotion I've ever used and it smells the best. I don't even know how to describe this scent. I feel like you just have to go in and smell it for yourself. I feel like it's vanilla, but it's also kind of, I don't know, like tropical vanilla is how I want to describe it. Almost like, almost like cake batter. I don't know. You guys just have to go smell it for yourself. Um, if you don't like super sweet smelling things though, then I maybe wouldn't get it, but it is my favorite lotion ever and I will link it down below. It is on my Amazon storefront right now. So, and then I'm going to wash my face with the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. You guys already know this is my Holy Grail face wash. I probably will never use anything else unless I see good reviews on something and people are raving about it, but... This, I swear, is the only face wash that has never broken me out and, and I feel like it is the most gentle and basic. There's no weird stuff in it and I know that a lot of dermatologists actually recommend this face wash. So, And it's probably less than $10, I want to say, less than $20. So it's very affordable and I've had this bottle probably since the beginning of summer and I'm not even halfway through it. So it lasts a very long time and it is just my favorite so i'm also weird and i don't wash my face in the shower i've never done that and i don't know why i just feel like depending on what time i shower i'm never ready to wash my face which i guess i could have just then but i don't keep this in my shower i just keep it outside of it but for instance if i'm showering in the middle of the day then i don't want to wash my face three times so i usually just wash it outside by my sink and i double cleanse so i wash in the mornings and at night i've tried going back and forth about it because i know that some People have said don't wash your face in the morning only at night and then some people vice versa so I've come to the conclusion that I feel like double washing is the way to go and this is the best face wash to do it with so 
I'm going to use this, wash my face, and then I also don't do my skincare right away after I wash my face. Um, I'll wash my face and then go lay in bed for a little bit and then come do the rest of my skincare when I'm brushing my teeth and stuff. But I haven't had dessert yet, so I'm not doing that yet, but... And you guys already know my obsession with skin so i just have on their boyfriend short sleeve i believe i know this is their boyfriend collection and probably the shade light gray and then i have the same matching boxers that i love as well they're kind of like a ribbed material and skims is my favorite thing to sleep in ever i noticed that when i sleep in skims i have the best nights of sleep ever because if you guys followed me over the summer i mentioned how i usually sleep naked because I can't stand sleeping in clothes, especially if they're pants or really uncomfortable. I actually can't sleep. So a lot of the times that's why I sleep naked. But now that it's getting in kind of the colder months, I want to wear something to bed. So Skims is definitely my go-to when it comes to pajamas. So yeah, I will link both of these down below. I know that they go in and out of stock pretty fast. So hopefully they're in stock right now. But if not, then just keep an eye out and you can type in your email to get notified whenever they are back in stock so i seriously cannot say enough good things about skims like if you were to feel this t-shirt it is the softest thing ever and definitely the softest t-shirt i've ever owned and i'm just absolutely obsessed so so make sure to check them out if you're looking for more loungewear or pajamas anything like that i know they have robes pullovers a lot of cute sets and stuff like that i'm planning to get another one of their boxer and tank top sets probably in black because i don't have black yet and so yeah make sure you get your hands on the boyfriend collection in specific because it is the softest and comfiest material that you will ever have in a pair of pajamas i swear so skim sponsor me or send me clothes if you're seeing this because i'm absolutely obsessed with you guys and I have so much of your stuff, but I want more, so. And then I light a candle every single night, especially in the fall and winter because fall and winter candles are lit and they're just the best, I swear. This is the leaves candle from Bath and Body Works and it's been one of my favorite fall candles for the longest time and it smells so fresh and it's the perfect amount of pumpkin spice mixed with apple, I feel like, and I just love it so much so okay i have my dessert all ready for me now um you guys already know my obsession with true fruit they are so good it's just chocolate covered fruit and you can do dark chocolate or milk chocolate but i usually do the dark chocolate for the raspberries but they were out at target so i got milk chocolate and then i'm not sure if dark chocolate comes for the strawberries but these are so 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 good and they are expensive for these little bags but they're my favorite favorite dessert i don't feel gross after eating them and i like when you can eat a lot of something if you know what i mean like i can keep eating it and and they're just really good and light and i'm obsessed with them so if you guys haven't tried these i know you can get them at target but i assume you can probably get them at other grocery stores um but they're so good and then i'm gonna keep watching vampire diaries because any time that I start it, I always know it's honestly my fault because it becomes the only show that I can watch and it's really annoying because I want to watch a Halloween movie or something, but I literally can't stray away from this even though I've seen it like 10 times over. It is my favorite show and I will never be stopped because it is just the best. Watching it during the fall is just different and it is my favorite show. So I'm going to watch this, eat my little dessert and then i'll do some skincare and hopefully go to bed because i'm planning on going to the gym around eight tomorrow so i also just took a load of towels out of the dryer and i'm gonna fold these real quick because i literally have no towels that are clean so i can't really push this back so i'm gonna fold these real quick and then do skincare and all that stuff okay it's finally time for skincare i use my paula's choice exfoliant last night so i'm not gonna use it tonight because you're only supposed to use it every other night or just a few times a week. So I'm not using that tonight. So I'll probably just, I'm just going to put on my Paula's Choice moisturizer that I put on every night. This is just the Intensive Repair Cream with Retinol for the nighttime. So I forget how long I've been using this, probably for a month. Um, But I feel like, I don't know if I can really tell a difference. I feel like moisturizers aren't supposed to really make a huge difference in your skin um and i can probably use any moisturizer i feel like they all kind of do the same thing that's all i'm doing for skincare tonight i like keeping it as simple as possible because i noticed that when i try to use too many new products or 
too many like serums and exfoliants and toners and all that i feel like my skin doesn't like that and honestly reacts worse when i do more so i just keep it simple and and like i said every other night i'll use the exfoliant with a little cotton pad and then put the moisturizer on but if i'm not using the exfoliant then i'll just put the moisturizer on i'm gonna below your favorite nighttime moisturizers because i feel like i could get a better one i'm not the biggest fan of the texture of this on my face it's kind of greasy and i don't really know if i like it that much but i'm gonna use probably the rest of it just so i can use it up but comment down below your go-to nighttime moisturizer then i obviously just brush my teeth i use the crest 3d white toothpaste this is my favorite toothpaste i've been using it for forever now and i've never gone back and then Garnet Cosmetics actually just sent me a fresh thing of their lash serum and their brow serum, which I've had a sample size of the brow serum, but I ran out pretty fast before I could even really tell if it worked. So I'm going to start using that again. Um, but you guys have heard me talk about the lash serum. It is my favorite to enhance your lashes. And I will link it down below. You guys have to try it out if you are looking for a new lash serum. I swear by this. And... There's seriously nothing better. And then I'm going to put the brow one on as well. Because I've kind of told you guys that I hate my brows. And I don't know what I need to do to them to make me like them. I I think I want them darker and fuller. Which the darker part is going to be hard because I'm a natural dirty blonde. And that's why they're the color dirty blonde. So I don't really feel like getting them microbladed. I feel like that's a lot of money and a lot of keep up with it which i don't really think i i don't really want to do right now so okay and then and then at night is when i always go in with my laneige lip mask this is my favorite lip mask it's so hydrating on the lips at night and this is actually still my first tube of it i've had it for so long and it has not run out yet so it is definitely worth the money i think it's probably like 20 bucks for this pot and it lasts forever i don't always love using it because you have to put your finger in the little pot thing unless you have the little applicator that it gives you but i lost mine so i only really use this at night because my lips are always the most trapped at night too that's pretty much it for nighttime skincare i'm just gonna go get in bed now and make some tea and maybe start my new book because my friend just gave me verity by colleen hoover so maybe i'll start that because i finished reminders of him and it was the best book i've read in a very long time so we will see okay i just made my tea and i think i've said before but i just use the chamomile tea packets from target i think it's the old medicinal brand and then i also put lemon juice in there because hot lemon water is so so good for digestion especially at night just to settle your stomach and and i feel like as i've gotten into the habit of drinking this tea it kind of means go to bed like it calms my brain in a way that makes me more tired so so i love this part of my routine at night it is so comforting and cozy and i just watch my show and drink my tea so i'm gonna crawl into bed and maybe read some of this book actually i finished reminders of him last night and it was my favorite book i've ever read by her and i knew it would be it was just so so good and i did an amazing job of mixing kind of suspense with a love story which i loved so if you guys haven't read reminders of him yet you have to go get it and read it it is so good and now i think i'm gonna start verity tonight because my friend she has every single colleen hoover book you could think of and i just keep going up to her room and borrowing them but i think i'm gonna do this one next because so many people say so many good things about this one and so i'm gonna start this book and then probably go to bed because it's almost 9 30 already and i'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow at 8 with my friend because i have a long day of class and hopefully plans tomorrow night so and then another thing that i make sure to do every fall and winter during the day and at night i will always have a fireplace running on my tv all you have to do is search on youtube for a yule log and there will be so many like 10 hour long videos of a fireplace burning and depending on which one you're looking for there are some with christmas music and like classical music and then some of them have like a new york city skyline setting or like a colorado Whatever you're looking for, I'm sure they have a video for that. So this is something that has always made me feel so at peace and calming because I obviously don't have a fireplace here in my apartment. 
but this kind of feels like I do and you don't have to, you know, do anything or it feels real to me for some reason and the crackling noise is just so, so peaceful. So I always make sure to turn this on while I read my book or while I'm watching my show, editing a video, whatever it may be. I'm always having this on at night and throughout the day to feel cozy and in the fall and winter mood so. so yeah that is pretty much it for my night routine that's what i do to kind of wind down and relax and get ready for bed my nights are so so special to me because it is just full of me time and relaxing and doing things that make me happy and but i just wanted to emphasize the importance of the little things meaning doing little things at night or throughout the day for yourself that make you happy is so so important no matter how small it is like making myself tea like giving myself 30 minutes before bed to watch my favorite show or taking a long hot shower you know whatever it may be it is so 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 important that you take that time for yourself and there's always a way to make time for something i've learned that and when people say oh i don't have time oh i don't have time i'm too busy you always have a little bit of time to take care of yourself and you can always make time for something that you really care about doing and I just wanted to emphasize the importance of that and hopefully you can take that from this video because doing these little things make me really happy and relax at the end of the day and I feel like they benefit me in every way so, so yeah I just wanted to touch on that and show you guys my night routine in case you wanted some ideas of what you guys can do with your nights if you want to or you have time so yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one bye